Hi everyone! If you watched the Lincoln City video, you all saw that Jane was pretty upset at the end of that video. I think we're kind of not putting up with it anymore. It's, yeah, it's, it's a bit upsetting really. It's, you don't want to see that kind of reaction. We can't keep putting up with it every week. So. But she's back in the saddle. She's a trooper, she's on the BSA coach and she's going to Wickham Wanderers to film it for us. So fingers crossed, we've got a much better outcome and a big smile on Jane's face at, at the end of this video. to Wiccan Wanderers tonight. Um, I'm looking forward to it because uh, it's been a while since the last match and I've forgotten about it now so, uh, so I think well, that was that was a good strategy. Uh, and I'm here at the Saddle Inn waiting for the BSA bus to, well wait for a mine actually before I go and get the BSA bus. Um, here's the, the, the horsey that lives at the Saddle. I didn't know there was a horsey that lived at the Saddle so I thought I'd show him to you. So I'm hoping to see some new players tonight because I think we need some new players in. We need a bit of a refresh in the team, I think. Uh, it can make all the difference. Uh, the new guy, Thornbridge Hall, Salisbury Hall, whatever he's called, looks great. He's, he's got some great goals in the trophy this season. He looks like the type of player we need. Just making goals from nothing, running down the middle. Uh, he looks fantastic, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. I hope he goes straight in. And obviously, Bowler again. And, uh, Gary Medine, Goal Machine. I think also there's something very special about Wickham Wanderers Ground that I'm looking forward to showing you. And you may have noticed I have some new sunglasses today. I have some new Maui gyms, so I don't have to wear these blue ones today. So uh, yes, I'm very happy with these. They're, uh, they're actually nicer than my old ones. It feels like I'm not, not wearing anything there. And, and it is actually sunny today, so I've got an excuse to wear them. It's fantastic. So, uh, I know it'll be dark by the time we get there, so I thought I'd, I thought I'd show you in the sunshine in, in sunny Blackpool. And look who's here again. It appears I've been stalked by the top team. You may recall he was in Lincoln last week as well on my way to the pub. And, and, and he, oh, sorry, here she is again. And can I also point out, I just bought a pint of beer um, in the saddle. It was £1.95. It's cheap Cascale on a Tuesday. So uh, get yourself down to the saddle on a Tuesday. It's, it's, that's not even with a camera discount or anything. That's just £1.95 a pint. And very nice it is cheap. So cheers, bye. Home of Bister Brewery, and suddenly no bar staff in sight. Now, now, look what we have here. Oh, my brain! Do the song! Come on down to Westies! This looks like Westies! Come on down to the show! Quirky part of Adam's Park that's, uh, that I was thinking about earlier. I was thinking it looks like a house in the corner of the ground. Could it possibly be a house? It looks to me, to be fair, like it's offices up there now. But I swear I've been here before and seen a woman doing her ironing in one of those upstairs windows. So I still like to think it's a little house. But this is your way in. Here.
first we got the news that uh, Nuttall was starting up front with Gary Medine. That was a bit of a shock. Nangele on the bench. But I'm just hearing now from Jane Stewart, who's down in Wickham, that there is a helicopter on the pitch and the game may not go ahead. Hi, so I've just arrived at Adams Park. Uh, there's a helicopter on the pitch. There's a medical emergency and hospitality, apparently. Um, and I understand from Matt Scrafton that uh, if the game doesn't kick off by 8.45, then it'll have to be rescheduled. So. Uh, whether we're going to get to see again tonight remains to be seen. So it's eight o'clock, we've just had an announcement saying the medical emergency is ongoing and uh, they don't know if the game's going to go ahead or not. Um, it seems like they've, they've, they weren't letting people in, but they seem to be letting people in now. So I don't know if that's a positive sign, or uh, but there's no, there's no movement. The helicopter's still on the pitch and, and no sign of anybody coming out. Uh, just got news now through from Jane Stewart at Wickham. She says it's been announced that the match is going to kick off at 8.50, so it's going to be a very, very late finish. I'd like to, I it goes up a bit. Which is good news for the game, um, if, if nothing else. So uh, it's now, what time is it, John? Quarter past? Ten past? Quarter past. Quarter past. Eight. I mean, I'm guessing the players are going to have to come out and warm up again. And we'll take off at 8.50 pm. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> positive coming into this don't really know what's happened um, can we turn it around like we did at Gillingham <laughs> we've got a strong bench let's see <laughs> The players are looking really jumpy and under pressure and the fans are getting on the back and it's just, I don't want to be here, I have just want to leave and set off home. It's very unpleasant. I want to go home. Um, second half's just kicked off, it can't get any worse, can it? Can it? Um, Fans have been leaving at half time. I wanted to myself, but I'm on the coach today, so I've got to wait uh, to the end of the game. Um, Dewsbury Hall's just come on um, for Grant Ward. Um, he looked really good on the video, so hopefully he'll make a difference. I just want to go home. <coughs>
Blackpool, Blackpool um, this half. Um, but you almost get the impression that Wickham just can't be arsed anymore and they're just letting us get on with it because they know we're not going to score anyway. Substitution for Blackpool coming off the pitch, number seven, Elfin Tarfonza. Okay, okay replacement number 21, Armand Nandale. Coming off the pitch, number 40, Conor Ronan. His replacement, number 11, Lee Creamy. actually grow into that game. Um, it seemed to get stronger as it, as it went on with the, with the subs. What I can't get my head around, it was a really, really strong bench, but why? It's a great thing that we have a strong bench, but why were they on the bench and why were they not starting? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Why have your leading goal scorer on the bench? Why have Liam Feeney on the bench when he was playing so well? Why? I don't, I don't get it. Why have Jewsbury Hall on the bench? When you know what he can do, he's been playing regularly. Why not just throw him straight in? It's not like he's not much fit. Just start your best players, Larry. It's not hard, is it? <laughs> <laughs>